Hey, good morning everybody and happy Friday. Thank you for uh, checking into my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I had a video. Well, not really. Actually, I just did a video. But before that video that I just did two minutes ago, it's been a while. Today I have the Holy Grail of Horror Collection. This is what I hear from a lot of people anyway. I hear I'm in a lot of different groups on Facebook and a lot, a lot of my friends are you know horror buffs and they collect shit and i've heard multiple people say that this item that i'm gonna open is their absolute holy grail if they could have one thing this would be it and i got it zobi productions baby zobi productions they're a new company i'm pretty sure i just heard of them anyway i think well I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to say it. it's my YouTube channel. I can say whatever the fuck I want. The dude who works for this company or owns this company or gets all the signatures or whatever, he also works for the band box and he gets a lot of their signatures. So that's all I was going to say. Um, let me show you. So, Zobi Productions, they are called. The website is shopzobi.com. There's probably going to be a glare on this. Shopzobi.com. Uh, Twitter, Zobi Productions. No, sorry. Instagram, Zobi. I'm not real hip on all the social media shit. So, Zo Zobi Productions on Instagram. And then Twitter is Zobi Prod, like P R O D, like Productions. And then Facebook is Zobi Productions. So, I'll show you this. Yeah, shopzobi.com. It's out of focus. Just go to Google and fucking search Zobi Productions. Alright. Uh, sorry if I mispronounce your name, sir, but I think it's J.R. Galagos. It's like J-A-Y-A-R-E, like J-R. Galagos, G-A-L-L-E-G-O-S. The dude's on Facebook. You can hit him up. That's, that's, how, I, that's how I found out about this. That and other YouTubers talking about Zobi. Uh, ha Half Geek fucking loves them. He uh, he gets shit from them a lot. And my buddy Audie, the box auditor, he's got tons of stuff from them. So I'm going to start you off with a Bethet, sorry, Beckett Certificate of Authenticity. The signature on this item was personally witnessed by a representative of Beckett Authentication Services. This item is guaranteed to be authentic by Beckett Authentication Services. This authentication can be verified by visiting BeckettAuthentication.com and utilizing the below authentication number in the designed area. So the serial number is 164519. So this is the Certificate of Authenticity from Beckett, so we know it's legit. You don't care about anything that I said, you just want to see my item. So let's see what it is. It's kind of packaged up pretty good, but... Check it out, dude. Pretty rad, huh? Sleep Kills. Freddy K. Robert England. This is fucking awesome. I love this thing so much. I bought this for my son. My son's not even three years old yet, but he loves Freddy Krueger and Jason. And, uh, he, I mean, he's not going to see this. I can't even show it to him because he'll just want to play with it. Because he don't understand what autographs are, you know what I mean? But um, I, I bought this for him so I can save it for him for when he's older. I do plan to get him a little shitty one on eBay that he can play with because he's got a little fedora hat that he runs around the house with and he does this, you know, and he just he plays Freddy Krueger all day and he fake kills the dog and me and his mom and his sister and it's just a lot of fun. He loves Freddy Krueger. So yeah, this is it, man. It says Sleep Kills, Freddy K, Robert England. It's a really nice glove. Uh, I just got to figure out how to display this bad boy. In front of me here, I have a uh, Robert England autograph. My wife got me that for Christmas. And then right here, I have... i show you, this is pretty cool. She got me this for Valentine's Day, I think, a couple years ago. Valentine's Day. Father's Day, Valentine's Day, I'd have to ask her, but a cool little neon sign, she got it from Hong Kong, pretty radical. Um, so yeah, I'm going to box this up and, and put it up for my son. 
Um, it's not the it's not the best quality glove, but I mean, what are you gonna do? But yeah, I really it, yeah. And the more I look at it, the 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 quality of the glove, you definitely shouldn't be wearing it or or fucking playing with it. I shouldn't even have done that. It just the hinges seem really weak. But that's not what it's for. It's not made to wear. It's made to be put in a glass case and hung up on the wall. Maybe put a cool light in it. But I paid $188 for it. And I know that sounds absurd. 200 fucking bucks. But if you think about it, you're going to buy that glove on the internet. Or you're going to have to wait until Halloween time to buy it at the Halloween store. I haven't done all the research, but I know the the or I, I'm guessing the glove is probably fifteen bucks. We'll say anywhere between ten to twenty bucks. I know for a fact you can send something to Robert England and have him autograph it. He charges eighty bucks, but you're gonna have to pay ten bucks to ship the motherfucker to him. You're gonna have to pay ten bucks to have him ship it back to you. So we're already over a hundred dollars, and then there's the whole factor of what if it gets lost in the mail or what if it gets damaged in the mail fuck that i'm not taking that risk and then let's just say it does come back to you and it's all good and you want to get it certificate or certified by beckett i don't know how much that costs but i'm thinking it'd probably be 30 bucks at the at the cheapest maybe to get it cert certified by beckett but then there you go another 10 bucks to ship it to them 10 bucks to get it shipped back i think they charge 10 bucks just for the certificate if it is authenticated so for the $188, fuck it, send me my autograph glove that's already certified. That's the way I look at it. And if you go to a con, yeah, you get to meet the dude, but you're going to stand in line. He charges, I think, 107 at conventions. You're going to stand in line for at least two hours. And um, I don't know. I think it's worth it to me. I'm digging it. I, I just, I really, honestly, I wish the glove was better quality. But I looked online. I, I didn't just fucking buy this thing. I mean, I did a little bit of research, and, like, the higher quality gloves are, like, fucking 600 bucks, man. I've seen some of them for, you know, autographed by Robert England certified. They're, like, $600. You guys might know more than me. You might find them cheaper, but $188 for a shitty little plastic glove autographed by Robert England. As long as I put it in a glass case and hang it on the wall and nobody ever touches it, I'll be fine. And it's for my son anyway, so that's what matters the most. But I definitely think I got my money's worth. I, like I said, I do wish the glove was better. Better. It's cheap plastic. But it's 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 made to look cool. It's not made to wear or anything like that. I mean, who's gonna wear an autograph Robert England glove? You know what I mean? But I, I think for uh I think for the price, it's a good glove, but it's definitely a cheap glove. It's not like metal blades or anything like that. But I've seen shittier gloves than this, trust me. I've definitely seen shittier gloves than this autographed by Robert England. So I think for $180, bucks, $188 shift is, is good. I'm cool with that. Uh, speaking of buying shit for my son, since this is behind me. This is his uh, second costume he ever wore for Halloween. My mother-in-law made these out of a pair of pants of mine when I was little. And she embroidered the good guys... And all the hardware and stuff. I just talked to Ed Gale. And uh, I'm going to send that to him. And then he's going to autograph it. You know to my son. And then send it back. And then I'll put that in a, a shadow box for him too. So I'm trying to get quite the collection going for my son. For when he's older. But anyway I just wanted to show you guys that. They, they, I've heard a lot of people call it the holy grail of collections. And I hope you're not upset that a three year old child got it before you guys did. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm the Cool Kid Collector. Go to Facebook.com. I've said it before. Facebook.com. Cool Kid Collector Club. It's a group. we got about over 300 members and we're doing a horror movie fight club. It's awesome. Two day, we, uh, there's 32 contestants. We're doing like March Madness. You pick one. Hopefully he makes it to the end. You'll get bonus points. Um, we do two fights a day. Today we just did Captain Howdy versus Captain Spaulding. Krampus versus Pumpkinhead. You just go on and you just vote who you think is going to win. And you, and you get points by... You get one point just for voting, and you get an extra point if the guy wins. Just go over there and look it up, because you're probably sick of hearing me talk about it in my YouTube videos. I'm already 10 minutes into this video just showing you a fucking glove that I got. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Facebook, uh, Cool Kid Collector Club. I'll see you guys later. i got to get my daughter up for school. See you later. God damn it, I pressed the button two fucking times.
three times. All right, I'm gonna focus on it. I think.